Tonight. So Inland Empire, come on out and represent. Touch the hand that touched the hand that touched the hand that touched Peter O'Toole's vomit. <laughs> that is, that's awesome. Who I mean, goes what, that far? Well, I, uh, that's the problem with me is I go too far. Right. Relentless. As Neil Brennan, co-creator of The Chappelle Show, was my roommate for about a month. And he said it felt like about 10 years because <laughs> I never stop berating him like arlie army and fucking full metal jacket i would wake him up at the garbage can wake up brennan grab your cock drop your socks i was brutal on him uh well here the last thing is <clears throat> surreal images i'll leave you with this surreal image because i have so many richard harris i can't tell them all but richard harris we built a basketball court uh for lunch so i could play basketball with all the great british basketball and he can players. fucking play no no <laughs> <laughs> no but you're talking about richard uh, richard no richard Aaron, no yeah he can fucking ball don't kid yourself yeah he, right before that he charlie murphy story in the Chappelle show about <laughs> prince playing basketball what, what there was two ver- jails? yeah there was two versions one of them was richard harris <laughs> if well, anybody anyway. tells you richard harris can't ball you ball with him you tell him he can't no what happened was we built this <laughs> we built this court the crew would i would play with the crew at lunch we'd have you know these games uh, and the last time I saw Richard Harris on set, he's in a golf cart dressed as gu- Dumbledore <laughs> driving the golf cart as I'm going in for a layup. And I hear, go, Chris. And it's fucking Dumbledore driving a golf cart saying, go, Chris. And I'm like, this is, this is one of the great memories of my life. <laughs> oh, my God. Did you make the layup? No, I completely missed it. You're big, you, you are cr- oddly athletic. You, t- I tell people, <clears throat> you're you're like a buff Matthew Broderick. Is that would you say that's fair? If I stopped drinking beer and wine, I could be more buff. But I do that in order to uh, supplement my love of of certain alcoholic drinks. But uh, I could be buff because I like. No, I think, you're buff. I mean, you you run how much? I run seven miles a day, and I lift weights, and I do push ups. But I got to do it because I was at this, I was at this this Oscar dinner with Scorsese. First time, I, I mean, second time I met him. So I was nervous. This is just this year. It's only the second time I met the guy. And it was very, I was really nervous meeting him. And Scorsese's telling everyone in the audience, it's, first it's a question answer thing and then it's a lunch. And then he's telling everyone, somebody says, what can I do to be a better filmmaker? And he says, y- 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 first, most important thing is you got to work out. You got to work, you got to work out. Every day you work out. And I'm like, Scorsese? Martin Scorsese's telling everybody to work out. So the guy with like, asthma. That was weird. But, uh, did he it, mean work out physically or did he mean? No, he meant go to the gym. I'm wow. like, wow, score. I never thought, I thought that I'd get that advice from like Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Richard, but not Scorsese. Richard Harris is on a golf cart, dresses Dumbledore. He's no not, one's ever heard that. Go, Chris. <laughs> That's fucking he, now, but see, everybody wants something else. Uh, who, but you'd never get any better than that. No. If I made the layup, get it would have been a little better. Get out of my trailer. All right. Goodbye. Thank you. We're going to talk See about you after you leave. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, brother. I'll see you in a minute. You're the best. We will do more of this. Yes, we shall. You're the best. <laughs> Did you ever think you'd hear a story about Dumbledore doing layups? <laughs> no, <laughs> driving golf carts. Are you guys ready for me? All right. Let me hey, uh, tell production i got to wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> um. I thought we were going to get a lot of Cohen time. What time is it now? As far as uh, how long have we recorded? 5.50. Yeah. All right. Well, i got to go back to work. I don't know what to tell you guys. i got to go back to work and make a major motion picture pilot. Either part two it up or, or this is this was a fucking awesome episode, dude. Um, He's as cool as I told you, right? Yeah, he was awesome. And that's, for everybody like listening, he was um like more amped up. Like he was, he like... It's kind of like when comics go do radio, like some of them sit on their ass and make it hard. And then other comics go do radio, like you bring your fucking game. Like he came in the trailer, like he brought his game. Like he, that was like two notches above his regular energy. So like that made me super Uh, fired up. Like he came in, like he was, he brought the bits. That was fucking great, dude. Um, you got to go make TV magic though. I love that. He's just like. I, I wanted him to finish what he was... Oh, I fucking interrupted Chris Columbus, but like he, he does try to be as normal as possible. And his daughter is actually in this, keeping the streak alive of having his kids. And his home movie is Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to see Chris Columbus's home movies, all you have to do is go to Netflix. Uh, Matt Cohen and I are due to sit down and hash it out. We'll get that coming to you. Thanks, everybody, that's been around for uh, the twice a week <clears throat> Uh podcasting and uh just put your name on it
This has been a production of Smodcast Internet Radio.